The Patriots are still riding high from their Super Bowl 53 win, but are now beginning to shift their focus on building another championship roster with the NFL Combine upon us. As the offseason gets in full swing, the to-do list for clubs start to form and the Patriots are no different heading into 2019. If ESPN's Bill Barnwell was able to call the shots in Foxborough, there are a handful of decisions that he'd want to see answered in the foreseeable future. Here are his suggestions for the Patriots and our takes on the matter. No. One extent Tom Brady's deal our take this is an obvious one for the Patriots to manage this offseason. Brady's about to enter the final year of his contract and is due $14 million in base salary, with similar signing and roster bonuses that he had a year ago. Unlike last year, however, Brady does not have statistical incentives, which was one way New England was able to try and bring the quarterback's income to a more respectable number comparable to his peers. For 2019, Brady's cap hit his $27 million. If they can rework his deal, give him more guaranteed dollars, while also bringing that cap number down to give them more flexibility to go out and sign more free agents, that could prove to be beneficial for everyone involved. No. To convince Rob Grankowski to return, or get a very notable replacement, our take, there is momentum for a potential Gronk return in 2019 as he did tell teammates immediately after Super Bowl 53 that he wants another ring, but it's hardly a guarantee at this point. His agent did say last week that the tight end will likely have a decision in the next few weeks. In the event that Gronk does retire, the Patriots do need to find a way to replace him. At the position, they could look to the NFL draft and attempt to draft one of the two Iowa tight end, who are looked at as the top-tier players at the position. New England will have to trade up for TJ Hawkinson, who compares a lot to Gronk, or could sit at no. 32 and hope that Noah Fant falls on their lap. In terms of a game-breaking talent, Barnwell also throws out the possibility of an Odell Beckham Jr. trade. The Patriots did inquire last offseason and it wouldn't come as too much of a shock if they did again, especially if they are looking to try and replace Gronk's talent. No. 3. Let Trent Brown leave, and try to bring back Trey Flowers' Arctic Barnwell does point out here that price, of course, is a factor here, but if things go the way that the market indicates Brown will be a pretty pricey player to retain for the Patriots. That money is better served to retain a guy like Trey Flowers. While that is the right mindset, the Patriots could have their cake and eat it too if they want to franchise Brown for one year, allow first-round pick Isaiah Wynn more time to recover from his torn Achilles from a year ago, and then try and re-sign Flowers as well to a long-term deal. In any event, re-signing Flowers should be the priority this offseason on defense. No. For ad help on the defensive line are take Danny Shelton and Malcolm Brown are set to be unrestricted free agents this offseason and the Patriots will need to add some more depth alongside Lawrence Guy and Adam Butler on the interior of the defensive line. If the Patriots do decide to add on the defensive side of the ball with a no. 32 pick in the draft, a defensive tackle may be the more needed option. No. If I find a punter our take, with Ryan Allen set to be a free agent, Barnwell does note that the Patriots aren't afraid to cycle in punters every few years. That said, Allen is just 28 years old and is coming a stellar performance in Super Bowl 53 punting for 215 total yards, and have three of his five punts land inside the 20. Given that he likely won't be too costly, it'd make sense for the Patriots to simply ride with what works and bring Allen back rather than find a new guy.